Hello, and welcome to episode 13? I think it's 13, of Minecraft in Unity. This is Blender. Um, I'm not giving you a very good look, uh, because all I'm doing right now is just creating a quick little... Um, hold on, I have to cough. Ah, lovely. This is giving you a, a quick little... Uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and make a compass. And we're going to make it much smaller than this, like that, uh, that, like so. Um, point oh, eight. There we are. No, point point oh eight is not not good enough. Oh, I see. That's. I thought it was uh, some. I, I misunderstood what this measurement was over here. Point oh two. Yeah. And so then we're going to go ahead and make a little bit less. We don't need it to have this many. That'll do. And then we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode and grab the nor oop, the northern piece and change over into connected proportional edit. Oop, that's too many. There we go. And just grab it and drag it. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and save this. Hold on. We're just going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to go ahead and open Unity. Come on, Unity. There you are. And they will automatically import it for us. So here we've got it right here. See? I actually am going to go ahead and create a new folder for our Blender stuff. Put the compass in there. Uh, and I actually forgot to do one important thing that we're going to do right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to the top view, and we're going to do a quick unwrap. Uh, we might as well just do a, a UV project. Uh, well, let's go ahead and just do a project from view. There we go. And then over here we'll set it to be the UV. And uh, select everything. Do it again, because I forgot to select everything. Alright, then we'll scale that. Uh, something like that will work. It doesn't have to be very good, just has to be good enough. Perfect. And later on we'll go back and actually uh, create a... a, a um, yeah, we'll just go... Later on we'll go back and we'll create a texture and a bump map for it with an N. But not now. Put that in the... Put that all in Blender. Oh, that's... A, that's what happens when you forget to, uh... There we are. I'm gonna close Blender, because otherwise I'll save it in the wrong directory again. There we are. So this is a compass, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add it to the camera. That's right, we're just gonna drag it straight onto the camera. Yeah, okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like, shall we? Oh, it points the wrong direction. Brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and suspend it in the... Actually, uh, stupidly, I do need to contain it inside of another thing because the compass itself is not pointed in the z-axis properly. It's pointed in... I don't think it is at any rate. I think it's pointed in the y-axis. Uh, we can double-check that. Oh, it looks like it is pointed in the z-axis, so that's fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place it in the camera such that it will always be... Um, roughly the right size and space. Uh, this is... Normally I would use a GUI object for this, uh, you know, a GUI element, but I really want it to be... Um, I really want it to be 3D. And as far as I know, there's no no way to do GUI elements in 3D. There we are. That's about right. So that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new script called Compass, and we're going to stick it on the stick it grind 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 stick it on the compass like so. There it is. Going to open that up in our editor of Unchoice, and in update we're just going to say transform dot look at uh, vector 3 
Oh wait, uh, we've got a world position being specified here. We actually, I guess we can just transform dot position plus vector three dot forward. I think it's forward. It might be back. All right, so now when we go into Unity here, wherever it happens to be, there we are, and we hit play, we'll have a compass that's always pointing due north, so it is in fact not aligned with Z. That's what I thought it might be, so I'm going to go ahead and create an empty object called compass, and I'm going to stick it in the main camera, and I'll stick the compass inside of it, and then we're going to go ahead and move the script over to this guy and this is at zero, zero, zero and I've got to actually um, move this into the right spot uh, hold on, let me do that alright, so there we go and now when we hit play the compass will always point in north see? Now most of the other uh, UI elements we create are going to be using Unity's built-in on GUI system, but because this one is a 3D model that has to orient itself in 3D space as you tilt your head, I wanted it to be an actual 3D in-game model, uh, and now it is. So I'm probably going to go ahead and create a texture for it for next time, but you don't have to. You don't have to stick around for that. I'll do that outside of, uh, you know, on my own. All right, so that was it, nice and quick. Uh, and I will go ahead and create the texture, and then I'll include the textured project in the description.